boys back at it so today we're just gonna be going over why you need to get around exactly what you want okay whatever you want in this life you have to get around the type of person that already has what you want and has what you you want to achieve so let me move this camera a little bit but the reason for that is you need to taste it. You need to feel it. You need to see that it's real. You need to see that this is actually possible. You need to see that if you're around people like them, that they're the same as you. There's no, there's not that big of a difference. It's not like there's some special, there's some unique person. It's, it does, that's not how that works. So the reason I know this is because I just recently joined a mentorship. If you watch my last video, you'll say I'm about to, I'm thinking about joining a mentorship before the end of the year. Like I talked in my other videos, I take action, I take it quickly. I think speed is so important in this game. So I just took action and I just said, fuck it, I'm doing it. And so now I'm working with a mentor right now. Um, it's a well-known mentor. If I said his name, you would understand. Um, but it was cool because I could. I talked to him one-on-one -on -one and I talked to him with a couple other people that are crushing it in the same place I want to be crushing it at. And so they gave me some good-ass advice and it was very cool to see and listen to them know that they're going through some same struggles I'm going through just at a bigger scale you know so that's that's pretty cool and I was talking with them and just like seeing how their personality is and who they are as a person and they're they're not much different than me you know so it's not that big of a deal the one thing I did realize though is that they just want it so bad they want it so bad and that's something you have to have you just have to want it very bad especially in the space I'm in so I you're gonna see a bunch of more posts here recently or you're gonna see a bunch more posts coming up is what I meant to say so but the reason you have to get around it is it just makes it so much more believable it makes it so much more it makes it seem so much more achievable so for example if you want like a supercar start driving around supercar places like supercar dealerships get out of your car get near them I wouldn't say touch them but if you want to touch them feel free to touch them but um yeah, just, just understand, just be in the presence of it so you can understand, okay, this is what I want. It's, it's in your grasp, it's in your hand. If you can, rent it for a day and drive it around. Act like, you've, you, act like it's your car. Act like this is what you have, this is what you do, this is your car, this is what you achieved. Just put it into your mind that this is what you deserve and this is what you need, okay? Don't have it as a, oh, this is a, such a cool dream. Nah, fuck the dream. Just say, this is, this is going to be me. If it's, it already feels like it's me. Like I, I go to supercar dealerships all the time because there's one right next to my gym and I just walk around it and I already feel like I own all of them. I already feel like I own a supercar. I already feel like it's in my possession. It's just waiting for me at this point. I already feel like I, I, I have it. It's just waiting for me. So doing, when you get around it, it just makes it, makes it so much more achievable in your mind than if you just see it on the um, social media or if you just see it on the news or if you just see it yeah if you just see it on the internet versus if you actually see it in your hands versus when you talk to these people that are making millions and actually talking to them and getting around them it makes it seem so much more achievable the first instance I I realized this was was when I was in sales our owner of our sales team was making I think like 1.2 million a year and he shows us and he showed us his pay stubs so he wasn't bullshitting and um it was just cool because I had one-on-one -on -one meetings with him all the time. He was only 31 years old when I was working with him. And I talked to him all the damn time. I talked to him every single day. He was always in the office. And I was just chatting with him. I would always come in. We would talk one-on-one. -on -one. I would ask, just talk to him about the sales, talk to him about business, talk to him about um, how he got to where he was at, what his story was, all that shit. Because I just love, I love learning. I, I'm super curious when it comes to this shit. But it was super cool because that was my first time I was around someone that was actually fucking killing it. And it was kind of cool that I could talk to someone that was actually killing it. And then today, when I joined this mentorship and I was talking to this guy that's making hundreds of thousands a month, it was super cool to see that because it was super cool to talk to him and see that he's a normal ass dude. There's nothing too crazy about him. He's just a grinder. He just goes after what he wants and he, that's how you get this shit. So that's the one thing I realized is I have to grind harder. Um, I was simply trying to, I was like, do I post once a day or do I post a couple times a week? And he's like, post two to three times a day, at least. He's like, at least that. What do you mean post less? No, no, no. What do you think once a day enough? No, two to three times a day on like so Instagram and like TikTok and stuff like that. So if you don't follow me there, I'll pop it up on screen. It's, it's these two right here. Um, and yeah, follow me there if you haven't already. But this is, this is like 
the fact that I talk to him and that I fact that he's doing so much a month, a couple hundred thousand dollars a month, and I talk to him and I think we have a lot in common. I look at him and I'm like, he's not that much different than me. It makes it seem so much more achievable to make a hundred thousand dollars a month easy. So I know this is going to work out. I have crazy belief in my system. That's another thing. It kills your limiting belief when you're around people that are actually doing it and you actually see it with your own two eyes and you're like, holy shit. And you actually talk to them. You're like, wow, he's not even bullshit. He's not making this up. It's not just on the internet. This is real life. He actually has what he says he has. And that shit's cool. So if this is something you haven't done already, if you haven't tasted your dreams, you haven't touched your dreams, you haven't felt your dreams, um, get around your dreams. Whatever your dream is, just get around it in actual real life, in person. Do what you need to do. Do what, has to, do what you have to do. And to just get around it. Trust me, it will open your fucking eyes. And you'll just you'll 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 see so much more opportunity than you did before. It'll kill your limiting belief. It'll make you believe way more in what you want to do. I promise you. Just get around it. That's all I gotta say. See you guys in the next video.